Hi, my name is Naomi. Ballet is my absolute favorite thing in the world, but a condition called obsessive compulsive disorder put my dreams of dance on hold. My obsessive compulsive disorder, or OCD, started when I was in junior high. I started to get totally stressed out by the order of things. I was fixated on making sure everything was put in the perfectly right place all the time. I felt that I had to do it, like I had no choice. I knew that what I was doing didn't make any sense and that I should just stop doing it, but whenever I tried to stop, something took over in my brain and I just had to keep going. But that wasn't all. I also had these very upsetting pictures in my mind, like dreams, but I was awake. They were images of terrible things happening as a result of a mistake I made. I saw my grandparents being murdered by an intruder who entered the house through a door I left unlocked. I became convinced that I was going to cause some life-ending event as a result of my carelessness. These thoughts and images were obsessions. People with OCD have all different types of obsessions. The important thing to know is that the obsessions are unwanted, intrusive, and repetitive thoughts or images, and that the person experiencing them knows they are unreasonable and excessive. Leaving my apartment for school in the morning was a nightmare. As soon as I closed the door, the images and thoughts started. What if I left my curling iron on? What if I didn't lock the door? Something terrible will happen. My family will be hurt. It will be my fault. I have to go back and check. It felt terrible, and I was almost always late for school. Are you for real right now? The obsessions created so much fear and anxiety for me that I had to do something to make myself feel better. I was afraid to tell my friend what was happening in my head. I didn't want her to think I was losing my mind. The obsessions kept building and building until I couldn't stand it anymore. I didn't know what to do, and to make it worse, compulsions began. A compulsion is something you do to reduce the stress caused by a feeling that things just aren't right. To get rid of that feeling, you need to do something, like touching, counting, or chanting. A compulsion makes you feel relief for a short time, but before you know it, the obsessions are creating anxiety again. That brings back the compulsions. It feels like it's never going to end. Just like with obsessions, people have all kinds of compulsions. Remember, a compulsion is what the person does to get relief from the anxiety the obsessions create. One of my compulsions was ordering. There was a time when I stopped going to school because I would spend five or six hours in my bathroom or kitchen making sure things were in their correct place. It's so hard to explain in words, but I felt like if I didn't arrange these things that something terrible would happen. As soon as I walked away, the overwhelming stress would drive me back to repeat the same thing again. It was maddening, but I couldn't stop. My life was going down the tubes. I have lived with my grandparents most of my life. They started getting really worried about me when I wasn't able to go to school. Hey, Grandma, get over here. This is my grandma. Say hello to everyone, Grandma. Hi there. I understand we're talking about your OCD. I remember when you were really sick. I didn't know what to do for you. It was heartbreaking. Sometimes I even helped you with your compulsions because I could see that was the only thing that made you feel better. But it never worked for long. The day we went to your pediatrician and got help was a day I will never forget. Your grandfather and I love you so much, but we needed help to know how to best help you. Naomi, I know you are scared. It must be very hard to have so many obsessions and compulsions, and I want you to know that you are not losing your mind. You have obsessive compulsive disorder, and it's causing a lot of problems in your life, but I can help you with that. I want you to take the medicine I prescribe and also see a therapist. The combination of the medicine and the therapy will help you manage the intrusive obsessions and the overwhelming desire to engage in your compulsions. Now imagine that each part of the brain is like a different building. The buildings are connected by pathways. On these pathways are messengers that carry information between buildings. There is some evidence that people with OCD have a lot of activity in certain parts of the brain. The chemical messengers in your brain are too excited. They are running around like chickens with their heads cut off and causing you to feel you are constantly in danger or that something bad is about to happen. By taking medication and working on changing your thoughts and therapy, you will slow these messengers down. Once they stop flooding your system with anxious messages, you will have more control over the thoughts and images in your mind and how you choose to deal with them. This will help you control both your obsessions and your compulsions. The doctor was right. I went to therapy and learned to manage my thoughts better. 
The medication helped to slow things down so I wasn't so afraid all the time. I was able to go back to school, spend time with my friends, and get back in the dance studio. I was able to tell my friends about what was happening. And guess what? They didn't laugh at me or make fun of me. They understood and were helpful. My grandmother was right. I needed help to get my life back on track. Getting help for my OCD was the best decision I ever made. Hey, you're on time. I'm so glad you're managing your OCD. It means less anxiety and more time for shopping at the mall with me. Obsessive compulsive disorder is a real medical condition. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms, call a doctor and get help. You can also check out this website, teenmentalhealth.org, for more information.